when um, I was 20 weeks pregnant, I went to the um, doctor for the ultrasound and um, we found out that Brody had some water on his kidney. And so we had to go to the, a fetal medicine doctor and they told us that Brody had um, posterior urethral valves, which caused um, water to back up onto his kidney or fluid to back up into his kidney. It was, it was a tough pill to swallow. We knew that there was some trouble right at first, and we had to wait a week, and we went and talked to the specialists, and then we knew there was more trouble, and that we were in for a long road. We had to, you know, follow the pregnancy really closely, um, but he came about 32 weeks, almost 33 weeks. Um, he spent about two months in the NICU. After we went home from the NICU, he just kind of continued on, and we kind of maintained his health and had to go frequently to nephrology appointments, and we just, you know, continued on for a few years. Um, we got to almost right before his third birthday, and he got his first bladder infection, and so we ended up in the hospital, and we kind of found out at that time that he was getting probably closer to needing a kidney transplant. I, I got involved close to that point uh, and now I was the one in it that have to walk the family towards that final point and deliver the news this is it his kidneys are giving up and we need to start working on a transplant we said let's get somebody tested um, right away and the list of people who were willing to give um, to give him a kidney was like, I don't know, there must have been 30 people who immediately said that they'd be happy to. And so when we got to the transplant process and found out that I was a match for him, it was just an unbelievable feeling of that I can finally do something to help him and ended up um, having the transplant in May, on May 8th, right before Mother's Day. Today, Brody is healthy. And our job is to make sure that he has a normal life and have the same um, possibilities and, and, and responsibilities as a human being, as a member of society. But, you know, moving forward as we're approaching the year um, anniversary of his transplant, it's just really wonderful to know that he's doing so well. I mean, he's made such great gains, full of energy, and just a happy, healthy, fairly normal boy. And, you know, it just, as each year comes, in fact, we're celebrating this year with our whole family to celebrate the one year. And, of course, it, we're doing it on Mother's Day, you know, to celebrate that and having everybody down um, to honor Brody's. Um, success and you know um, celebrate of course being moms. He's just a, a blast. He's so much fun to be with and he can do so much more. He's feeling so much better. It's like Brody got a new lease on life when Lori gave him that kidney. Certainly something that we won't ever ever take for granted or forget um, around Mother's Day and uh, it'll be it'll make for good stories you know many years from now.